Hi, my name is Tim Spikowski from Footsore North America. Today I wanted to talk to you about our new pack that we released last night. It is a Urban SAS pack and it's a six figure pack. Uh, I've been a bit busy with different products recently and uh, getting the store and everything set up here for Footsore North America. So I haven't had a lot of time to paint uh, figures as best as I would like to. So I asked my friend, my mate Glenn Kapheim to paint the figures that are behind me here and I think he did an awesome job. Um, but I thought it would be a great opportunity to make a video showing you how I would use GW's new contrast paint uh, on these new Urban SAS figures by combining a, a black, I'm sorry, by combining a blue and a brown to get a nice black tone to paint these figures. Now by all means this is not a video on how to paint fully a black figure. Not at all. Black uniform. It is just a way to one highlight the figures themselves the, the detail but two show you how this new paint actually can work and either work to get you a nice tabletop quality figure or to set a a standard or a, a way for you to then achieve different mid-tones and highlights and stuff like that so what I wanted to show you was how you can go from this to I guess the figure up there in that corner, again, it's not done, but it's a way to kickstart it and kickstart your painting. So you're like, my God, great. Now I can get these figures, I can paint them, get them a nice black uh, uniform color, and I can start playing. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave comments, subscribe to the channel, tell your mates about us. Uh, you can always reach me on Facebook. My name is Tim Spakowski. You can also email me at tim at footsoreminiatures.co.uk. Thanks a lot, guys. As I mentioned earlier, painting black can be challenging. Personally, when I'm painting a figure that uh, either the uniform or clothing is black, I don't just use the color black right out of the bottle. In fact, in a lot of cases, I don't use black at all. So I this video just isn't about how to paint in depth, how to paint things black paint uniforms black paint clothing black what i'm trying to do is show you a quick way of getting color onto the new urban sas figures um, utilizing the new contrast paints that are out now i i know there's a lot of people that that like them or hate them i'm that's not what this is about this video is to show you how i can quickly get stuff turned around and painted so that i can at least get them to the point where I can take photos of them and display them. Now, the, the new six-man Urban SES figures, well, all of you know their uniforms are black. So I was trying to figure out a, a best way of doing that and in a quicker amount of time. One of the uh, painting guys that I follow is James Wapple. I sell his videos. I'm also a Patreon supporter of him. And he's been doing a lot of videos utilizing contrast paints and what what I like about James is that of all the things that he teaches me, he teaches color theory and blending and uh, mixing colors and not being afraid of what colors to try out. So uh, I highly recommend that you check out his Patreon page and he, you will learn a lot about painting and blending and, and mixing colors and stuff like that. So real quick, I wanted to show you different examples of how I have painted clothing black. Now these two figures here, let's see if this is right, or, uh, these are from the team or the uh, Operation Team Overwatch range. Now I'm hoping you can see it on the screen, but the color, the pants as, uh, on this figure is black and so is this. However, this has got a lot more gray green tones in it versus this one has got a lot of grays and light grays and even some light blues in it. Um, so this took a while for me to achieve, but both this and this example, as well as this example, I util utilize the new contrast paints to, to quickly establish a nice base coat where I can build and work on my highlights. So that's these two figures. Um, now, this is from the uh, Foots for Modern Isis range, this figure here, and this figure here. Both of these 
I used a very, very, very dark, dark blue uh, that Scale 75 makes. And then to quickly add highlights, I added different shades of gray and, and, uh, and at, at the most highlight, possibly I used Maiden Flesh, which is a, um, a, a very light flesh color, but there's no white added to this at all. So that's examples here. This was my test piece. This is a resin copy of one of the uh, SAS figures. Hopefully you can see that. This utilized the Scale 75 paint as well. Uh, the dark, dark blue. And then I used grays. But uh, I think I got distracted, honestly, and put this figure aside. This is a Mortal Gods figure sculpted by Stavros. And first of all, it's gorgeous. Um, and uh, second, what I was trying to achieve was the armor color that uh, Achilles wore in the movie Troy. It was a, it looked black to me, so I was trying to achieve a look of a dark, dark brown, um, or a black with a lot of dark brown highlights and stuff. So I somewhat achieved that look with this. I, there's some stuff I still have to do in them, but again, these are just examples of how I paint black. Now. What this video is about is to show you quickly how you can get the new Urban SAS at least table ready for a black color utilizing the contrast paints. And uh, you know, you can go in a lot more detail. This color here that I'm going to show you, this contrast paint color mix, in the end, when it's done, can look like this. Um, and that's more of a detail of depth, but again, I wanted to show you how to quickly just get going on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this figure aside, set up the table, show you the paints that I'm using, and then we'll go from there. I often think about making quick videos of uh, tips uh, or little tricks that I've come up with or got from someone else. And one of the things that I love is let me see if I can back this out here. These are just plastic lids that come from, uh, I think this came from a plastic uh, box of candy. This These lids are great for us using for palettes. So you could just throw paint on real quick and you can also add a lot of water to it and uh, you don't have to be afraid of the water spilling out or anything like that. So for this example, I'm not gonna be doing any wet blending or anything like that. I'm just going to mix two contrast colors together and slap them onto the figures and show you what it, what this contrast paint looks like together. So this is not my recipe. This is James's James Wapple's recipe. This is where I got it from. And he, he teaches uh, that brown and blue make an interesting black. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm utilizing apparently the very hard to get a hold of Contrast Wildwood and Levite on Blue. So I'm going to use my trusty pipettes and I'm going to do what my best that I can of like a 50-50 mix and I'm just going to pipe it onto this tray. Let's see if that's enough there. Okay and then off camera I have just a cup of water that I immediately put the pipe bed in to uh, clean. So there's that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the Leviathan Blue. So again, I'm trying to get 50-50 mix. This might change depending upon what the end color looks like. Um, so I may have to add more brown I may have to add more blue. It just depends upon, I guess, my personal taste at the time of how the color is looking. Now, you can use GW's uh, contrast medium, but I'm also, uh, you can also use this. So this is just Vallejo's thinner medium. You can also use water. So in this case, I'm just gonna add water
and mix this up. So what does this look like here? It is a very nice dark, dark, dark brown color. Let's see here, and what does this look like? Yep, and it flows really well. So, yep, very happy with this. I might just add another drop of water just to make it just a little bit more. I personally do not use this paint straight out of the, the pot. I like diluting it a little bit. Okay, so here we go. I'll take this figure and just brush it on with the mix that we've made. Now I see a lot of guys, uh, they just mix it on and then they let it pool and then it, it kind of stains. So uh, it doesn't have to be like that. What I personally do is I apply the, the paint and then see how it is resting, see how it's quote staining and settling. <clears throat> and then I'll take another brush, or I'll clean the brush that I'm using, and I'll, I will move that paint away. I can, I'll draw it out, draw it away. Because I really don't want the staining. What's great about this color, <clears throat> pardon me, is that you can use it for the gun as well. Uh, you can use it for the, the, the mask. Okay. Now... That might be a little too much uh, paint for me. So I'm just gonna take this brush and clean it off real quick. And just start brushing away some of the paint that uh, I might feel that there's maybe too much there. Because what I'm wa wanting to do is build. This is just an initial layer. Um, but again, this is just a quick way of getting a nice uh, black uniform to come out. So I'll do one more and then pause it and then show you what the rest of the squad will look like when it's all applied. I love this stuff. It flows really well. I guess I could have added a little bit more blue, but that's okay. I'm going lighter here, so I have the ability, the option to uh, add some more glazes if I wanted to change the color. My experience with this paint is that uh, if you go straight out of the pot and then go another layer straight out of the pot, you're, it's going to be pretty dark. So that's why personally I recommend you thin the paint out a little bit. Okay, again, so what am I what am I doing here? I'm cleaning off my brush. And I'm just looking to see if I have any pooling. And if I do, then I will just brush this brush it down. Okay. So very happy with this. I am going to step away for a little bit, finish up the rest of the squad, and I'm, I will show you what they look like once the paint is dry. I, I wanted to bring this figure back on camera as I was applying the paint. Hopefully you can see it, how well that paint just glides right in there and settles, and how it makes all of the details pop. I hope you can see this, but it's definitely showing up on the weapon itself and uh, the mask. Okay, the figures have had some time to dry, and I wanted to show you what they look like just with the base uh, color applied. What's great about using these paints is that and as well as a nice shaded uh, base coat 
or even if you just, I guess, use one of the tan or, or white spray cans, you can quickly achieve shading and highlighting. And a lot of the work is kind of mapped out for you. And in some cases, guys may think that this is great. I don't have to do anything else. Um, because a lot of people don't like painting, but they don't want also just to paint something black. They want it to look good. So again, this, this is not by far a finished figure. It is one of the first steps that I use to establish my dark colors. Get it focused here. And again, like look at the top of the ankle, how that, that fold is, how the light hits it. So if you were in a hurry and you needed to get this quad paint up, painted up pretty quick for a game that day <laughs> or even uh, for the weekend or something and uh, you don't have a lot of time, using these paints, you can achieve that. So Now, what I did notice is that this is my, was my test figure. There's a, a little bit more blue in this, quote, black color than in this mix. I had more brown uh, mixed in. But still, I, I like the effect. I like the color. Uh, and I think it is a really nice, quick way of starting out and getting figures done. Again, uh, the little things that, that get my attention are these folds here. The detail with the sculpting, but also the folds and how the paint settled with, with little effort at all in a very quick time. I'm pretty happy just with the, the weapon. That's just one wash, basically, one application. Now I used on this one, let's get this in the focus here, sorry. I used a darker brown color for this just to see what it would look like. Uh, let's see here. I was pretty impressed with how this rifle turned out. There we go. Yeah, so I hope this video helps. Again, it by far is no full guide to painting black uniforms. The main purpose of this was to showcase the figures, to show you what they look like with at least a nice black uh, applied to them and also a way to show you how to use the new paints that are available and, and uh, with the new quicker way of painting something. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me. My name is Tim Spakowski. You can also email me at tim at footsoreminiatures.co.uk. Thanks a lot.